this is not going to be a long video. I know I always say that, but sometimes the spirit moves. The reason why it can't be a long video is because it's my daughter's birthday party in a little bit. So I got to leave in like 30 minutes, but I just feel led by the Holy Spirit to make this video. Uh, especially for all you uh, people coming to Christ um, this year or last year and you're waking up, you're waking up to the program, you're waking up to the matrix, you're waking up to the deception. Uh, the life that you were living was, you know, a lie. And, you know, once you start to read your Bible, you start to apply it into your life and you start to see the madness, you start to see the chaos, you start to see how lost people are. But you gain some, humility, you gain some, you know, some love because you understand that you were once that person too as well. But the sad part amongst it all is realizing, okay, God has woke you up, right? God has woken you up from the program, uh, the deception, the lies and all, you know, all the nonsense, right? And you now try to wake other people up and see when God was waking you up, you've received it with joy. Now, not everyone receives it with joy. Uh, waking up is painful. Okay, I remember when I woke up, guys, I was in tears, bro. Like, the whole life I was living was, was a lie. And, you know, one thing about me, even before I, you know, was on the narrow path walking with Christ, I didn't like to be lied to. I didn't like to know, if I, if I would have known I was living a lie, I would have instantly changed. You know, like, when you're real, you just, you just can't, you can't do that, bro. You can't do that. Like, once you start to get convicted, like you take you take action on your convictions like okay god's telling me i got to give up this person you know god's telling me i have to you know stop doing this sin or you know stop doing this and that you know you take action instantly you know because it's and yes it's because you love god but at the back of your mind at the end of the day because you're real you're a real person and the chat is like looking really weird what the heck is going on it's not like i see the chat but you know i'm gonna screenshot it and i'm going to posted on my community post i don't know why it's like that that's very strange but god bless you too jay it's barely hard to see but anyways for those who are just now joining i can't make this long because um my daughter's birthday party is like in 30 or an hour but anyways okay so you start to wake up wake up from the program and you start to realize that okay like now let's help people right god put on your spirit right we're supposed to spread the gospel uh help those who are lost um, things of that, things of that nature, right? And as we start to do that, we start to see people kind of push us away, or people, you know, that's what, one thing I noticed, right? They either push you away or they try to bring you back into the program, bring you back into Satan's kingdom. Okay, Satan's matrix, Satan's kingdom, same thing, right? When people talk about the matrix, they're talking about Satan's kingdom. Okay, that's what it, the matrix is. Okay, darkness, lies, uh, vanity, uh, the illusion. Okay, uh, the deception, all, all that above, right? The program. Okay, so you don't want to go back to Satan's matrix. You don't want to go back into the lies. You don't want to go back into your own vomit. You don't want to go back into your sins. You don't want to go back to certain friends or certain relationships or even certain family members that you know just ain't right. And you know that they're just going to be used by Satan again to try to bring you back in, you know, bring you back into his matrix. You don't want it. You don't want that. So you're going to find yourself alone. And as you're finding yourself alone, you're gaining comfort. You're, sorry, you're gaining comfort. You're gaining, I keep saying getting, you're gaining comfort. You're gaining peace. And most importantly, you're, gain, you're gaining wisdom to maneuver through, the, through this, you know, satanic world we live in. Okay, and every single day you, you, you wake up and realize that, okay, there's a spiritual war going on. But you're only one of the few people who could actually see the spiritual warfare going on. There's not many people who could see. And because of that, you know, most people look at you like you're just some crazy person. So you're just going to find yourself wanting to be alone. Because, you, like I said, guys, you realize that a lot of people, they're not, they'd rather just live a lie. Most people rather live a lie. Your pastor, a lot of these pastors, they'd rather live a lie. Not all of them, of course. You know, but a lot of them are drinking the, out of the cup of the devils, man. Because, yes, as God could bless you too, the devil could bless you too as well. Now, the devil's blessings are temporary, of course, you know, and God's blessings are internal. And see, what, one thing people have to realize, right, you don't have to sell out. You don't have to tickle people's ears, cater to people's emotions and feelings, and tell people what they want to hear to, to, to live. Okay, when you're doing God's will, sure, not many people will support you because you're speaking truth. But best believe God will, you know, he will supply your, all your needs that you need to, you know, that you need through your, day, your, daily, your daily bread. But it's like people are getting greedy. People are, you know, are, you know, are getting, you know, 
just fattening up. All for the money, all for the love of the money. And then one thing about me, guys, when I got when I got on YouTube, I didn't even know I could make money on here. That wasn't that wasn't my mission. I didn't even want to be on social media. But like I said, God put it on my spirit and God convicted me. When God's convicting you of you something, then God's telling you, do this, do that, give up that. You gotta take action instantly. And when you take action instantly, especially if you're young, because it's hard to walk with Christ when you're young, because when you're young, most people are more prone to vanity. Most people are more prone to sin. Not to say that the older people aren't, but it's especially when you're young, that's like what the program is. You know, that's why there's an agenda attacking the youth, attacking the younger generation, because they're they're the future. So if you attack the younger generation, if you get them to be doing drugs in middle school, elementary school, you'd be getting the, the young girls to, to giving up their bodies, having a body count 10, 20 by the time they graduate high school, this world's gonna be destroyed. And Satan knows this. So he has to work through the parents, get the parents to conform, Get their parents to, uh, you know, be okay with the LG. I just saw a video, guys, on Instagram. And there's a lot of skits on Instagram. There's a lot of fake videos and stuff. But this was actually a real video. A, a father, he went to go pick up his son from uh, elementary school. And the, the teachers, they put on a dress on his son. And he's on, he was recording it and he's getting pissed off at them. So it's just like, we have to come out from this world totally, completely. Get your children out of public schools. We got to start, you know, growing our own food. Uh, you know, filtering your own water. Okay, now I know obviously we live in, you know, this is a matrix, so, you know, and they, at a young age, back in the days, they used to teach uh, children, the Bi not only the Bible, okay, they used to teach their children how to grow food, uh, how to do their taxes, you know, things that actually we need when we grow older. Nowadays in the school system, they, they ain't teaching them jack, shh, they ain't teaching them nothing, you know, and uh, I mean, putting your children in public schools, that's a, that's a death sentence, man. Let's just keep it real spiritually, that's a death sentence. Like I said, I just saw a video of teachers putting a dress on a little boy. I think he was like not like five, six years old. I mean, it's just total madness out here, guys. And, you know, like I said, once God's convicting you, once God's showing you the signs, uh, once God is showing you that some people just, they, they ain't, some people ain't gonna make it, man. They'd rather stay in the matrix. They'd rather, you know, hold hands with the devil and let them. When you see people holding hands with the devil, just let them go your own way. Didn't Christ say to don't cast your pearls on the swine? So understand that and also understand that, you know, as you're gaining more wisdom, gaining more knowledge, on more understanding, you're growing spiritually, you know, you're giving up your sins, you're, you know, you're giving up, you know, and once you start to give up your sins, right, you're going to start to see those demons at those doors you opened up, all those demons that you should open up through your vessel, whatever sin it may be. Okay, I'm not going to list the sins you guys should already know. Okay, we all, we all are battling something from within. You're going to have to face those demons. And I remember, guys, when I first gave up my sins, when God was first showing me my error, um, you know, the things that I, I didn't even know. I didn't even know what sin was, you know. Uh, 2018, I had no idea what that was. But when God was showing me and all the doors that I was opening, all the portals in the spiritual realm through sin, uh, through rebellion, you know, through all those stuff, right? And I started to, and I started to realize, you know, dang, like, okay, like, let's repent, right? Got to repent. Uh, I've got to be set apart, you know, live a, live a holy lifestyle, right? And as I'm giving, you know, these sins up, it's just like these spirits are just attacking me left and right. The gang stalking, because gang stalking, it works through people. But what people don't understand when it comes to gang stalking, it's just it's spirits that work through people, right? And now you're getting gang stalked. And so you could get gang stalked not just by the outsiders. You could get gang stalked by the people of your own household. You could get gang stalked by your, your family. This is deep, bro. You could be getting gang stalked by the person you're sleeping next to. Some of y'all may be being gang stalked by your children. And okay, this is deep. This is spiritual warfare. Okay. So as you realize that, you know, as you start to realize, okay, like, you know, I got to fight these demons off, right? I got to put on the armor of God, right? Um, I can't be, I can't keep fellowship with the people who are keeping me in sin because what Satan likes to do whenever you give up your sin, that person who is keeping you, you know, I want to say that person's, oh yeah, you know, that person is, you know, getting you to tempt you, right? Uh, especially if you have warned that person that, hey, I'm not sure to do that no more. You know, hey, I'm not, you know, I'm trying to just, you know, walk this straight and narrow. You know, if those people don't respect it, guys, you got to cut them off. Okay, you got to cut them off. You don't wait for, you don't wait, you know, and guys, the Holy Spirit will always, it's always going to work through you. It's always going to lead you. It's always going to tell you who has to go and also who, who has to stay too. So this is where you got to use your discernment. And, you know, one thing Satan does is he will try to use that person 
Like, let's say, for instance, like, for me, y'all know my testimony. I share my testimony a lot of times on YouTube. You know, I used to struggle with smoking um, and uh, corn, corn addiction, playing with myself. Got to play with the algorithm, so I don't want to say the actual words. You guys know what I'm talking about. Those are the three sins that, you know, really kept me in bondage. Um, yeah, mostly mostly those those three things. You know, sexual morality, too. All, you know, all those things, right? And the minute I started to give up the coin, right? I started seeing demons, bro. Started started seeing demonic spirits t attacking me. And I started seeing them in my dreams, okay? Um, I mean, having wet dreams back to back. Uh, I remember in my dreams, you know, I was fighting off, you know, not hitting the blunt. Like the minute God convicted me of it, guys, the minute he told me I had to, I, the, the same day, I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I, I had a pound of weed and I threw it in the trash can. A pound of weed, like over $2,000, okay? Uh, back then, I didn't have anything. You know, I was completely poor back then. And, but even then, you know, what, what did Christ say? You have to give up everything to follow him. I took actions. I applied the word of God into my life. Now I'm blessed. Okay, and there's no need to be jealous about that because you could be doing the same thing too. I wasn't being lukewarm. I wasn't being double-minded. I wasn't be playing church or just being religious, you know, using using the Bible whenever I need it. You know, cause that's how people treat uh, Christ. That's how people treat God. They only want to go to God when things go bad in their life. But when things are good, they don't want nothing to do with them. And that's just the selfish nature of Adam and Eve. Selfish. Okay, so the minute God's convicted you, stop playing games, bro. Stop playing games with God because... There's over 100,000 people who die daily. You don't know if your, your, your time might be tomorrow. Okay, and when God is giving you talents, he's giving you gifts, he's speaking to you, you know, you don't want to, you know, not take that, put that to use because you're going to find yourself in a sad, sad place. And I, I, and I wouldn't wish that upon nobody, not even my enemies. And all, speaking of enemies, right? When you start to work with Christ, you're going to find a lot of enemies. And these enemies, yes, they're going to be of your own household. But they're also going to be religious people too. Religious people are satanic. They belong to Satan's kingdom. Okay, a lot of you people won't you have a hard time accepting this. is because of the program. The program, the paganism, okay, the false worship, the false Christ, the false gospel that you've been, you know, following through these pastors who are tickling your ears. Because remember, Christ says, the Bible says, 1 John chapter 2, verse 4, whoever keeps not his commandments is a liar and the king is not in him. Oh, sorry, the truth is not in them. Okay, whoever whoever keeps not his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in them. Why why are none of these churches teaching you about keeping God's ten commandments? Why do I get demonized because I told you about the Sabbath day? Why do I get demonized because I bring out the commandments? Why? Because there's no truth in these people and religious people. They they are satanic. They belong to Satan's kingdom. Okay, and we all once belonged to Satan's kingdom, but it was only through the truth. It was only through the love of Christ, who he called us. Many are called, few are chosen. And when we chose us, we came out of darkness. We came out of the program. And now you're hated. Now people hate you. Now people want nothing to do with you because you're following truth. And the truth brings enemy. The Bible says, have I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth. Okay, you don't want to celebrate. You know, Halloween's coming up, right? You don't want to dress up as a demon. You don't want to dress up as a witch. You don't, you know, in these churches, guys, these, I just saw a church, pumpkin, you know, this, this is just, this is madness, bro. This is madness. This is this is total madness. And you know, these churches have the most people going. Okay. You don't want to celebrate Halloween. You don't want to dress up as or anything as Halloween. You don't want to dress up as anything. Okay. You don't want to celebrate uh Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas, uh, Easter, Valentine's Day, New Year, you know, all, all these all these uh, uh holidays. You don't want nothing to do with those holidays, right? But for whatever reason, people have a hard time with you with you accepting that. They have a hard time with you following truth. Remember, there's a narrow path and there's a, there's a broad, wide path. And we all know most people are on the wrong path. So when everyone is joining forces to say you're wrong, you're evil because you're following truth, we know who they, what, what kingdom they belong in. We know. So you're going to find yourself alone. But even though you're finding yourself more alone, you're more closer to God. And that we should all strive for that. We should all try to do our best we can to stay close to the shepherd, okay, Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Say, saying close to the Father God and taking heed to the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, is convicting you, take action quick, bro. I'm telling you, a lot of people, guys, who I know, the Holy Spirit is speaking to them, and they don't, they don't take heed, man. They don't, they don't take action, and they just find themselves just stagnated. Or a lot of people just go back, just like the Bible says that many people will do. They would rather go back to Satan. And that's what a lot of people are doing, especially a lot of people who are just playing church. And the reason why people do this, right, the reason why people do this is because they weren't built upon a strong foundation.
okay? They were just playing church, just being religious. They weren't actually applying the word of God into their life, okay? They weren't actually, you know, becoming set apart. You know, a lot of people, they want to look, they want to look set apart, righteous on the outside, but on the inside, they still have those demons, Jezebel spirits, Ahab spirits, religious spirits, okay? They don't have the Holy Spirit, not filled with the Spirit, not on fire for God, just religious. This is a lot of people, okay? So just always keep that in mind, guys. A lot of people are going to go back, and a lot of people are going to serve Satan, Okay, we're having right now, guys, you're, everyone's hearing, right? Every time you open social media, World War III, World War III, right? And it's funny because when you talk about these things before they even take place, you're a conspiracy theorist, you're crazy. Now all the sheep are saying it. Now, now it's okay to say it. So it just comes to show that when you're prophetic, okay, when you're one of the first persons to say something or to know things are going to happen, you're going to look crazy. You're going to look weird. But the minute everyone's saying it, now when all the sheep and all the goats are saying it, then now, now it's cool. Now it's safe to say. It's just like, come on, man. Um, I've been telling you guys, 2024, things are going to get real. I've been hearing that there's, there, there's going to be a draft. Um, and, I, and I just looked it up. The first draft is going to be from ages 18 to 26. You know, if I, now I'm 30 now. But if I was in that age group, I ain't, I, throw me in jail. I'm not serving this satanic country. This country that hasn't given back to the true Israelites who served 400 years of uh, the slavery. They haven't done nothing to the people. I ain't fighting for them. They're going to fight their own wars. Now, I'm not of the age group, so regardless, you know, it wouldn't have mattered. But, you know, and I'm also hearing there's not going to be an election next year. So it means that Joe Biden is going to be automatically president. I mean, this is just, it's just, <laughs> I'm telling you, Babylon is just completely madness. But understand this. Right now, what's happening in Babylon, the, the financial, um, the US, do US dollar collapsing, uh, the CBDC financial reset, stock market's going to drop 80% or more, okay? Um, all these things, this is all judgment, okay? This is all judgment, and also, best believe, they are preparing for the CBDC, uh, the, the global currency, which will be tied to the market of the beast. I just went to um, Amazon, uh, what's it called? The, the, the Whole's Food, I think it was called, whatever. And, you know, I would see videos of people putting their palm, you know, paint. If you guys probably seen those videos. Um, and I wanted to see it for myself. I wanted to see like, you know, I mean, guys, I've been I've been talking about the mark of the beast, been telling people that it's ready here, you know, just just because it's not mandatory yet. You know, doesn't mean that it's not. It's ready here. The technology is ready here. The fallen angels, they've been here. They've been here. They've been deceiving. They've been, you know, deceiving Adam and Eve, just like you know the uh, the garden. They're doing it today. People are deceived. It's all by you know fallen angels, the programming. Okay, I don't know why my screen just went dark. Can you all see me, guys? Can you all see me? I don't know why my screen just went dark. Is it still good? Let's see. This is what they do, bro. <laughs> Can't even see the chat. You know. I mean, I, I'm still going, guys. I don't, I don't care, bro. I'm still going. If I can't see the chat, if you left a super chat, I can't see it, guys. If you left anything, um, I just see someone just became a member right now. I can't, I can't see nothing. Let me maybe try to refresh it, maybe I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm still preaching, bro. Like, if you guys are tuning in, that's cool. But I'm not letting this affect. Me. I saw in the beginning of this video, but I'm just like, bro, <laughs> you know. But I went to I went to the Whole Food place, right? And I wanted to see it for myself. Now I don't know if this is anywhere. I'm in California. I'm not sure if this is out of state, but I live in California. I went out to see it, and I should have made a video. I'm, next time I go there, I'm gonna make a video. And I went to go buy something, and as I'm you know purchasing, it says you could pay with your palm, and I'm like, no way. And we all know the Bible verse where it says that you can't buy or sell. Unless you have the mark in your right hand or in your forehead. So it's like, are people waking up to the world we're living in? Are people waking up to Satan's matrix? Are people seeing what's going to take place in the world? Because I don't think people are. Well, some of you guys might say, well, people are going to fight back. Uh, people are going to resist. No, they won't. No, they won't. Remember when this came out? You know, the word that you can't say on social media no more. Over 65% of people got it. That's more, that's, that's more than half the population. People are not going to resist, bro. People are, and now, of course, there's going to be a small remnant, like the, like 5%, 10%, maybe even less than that, okay, that, that, that are going to resist. But majority of the people, they're going to cave in. When, you, when they can't feed their family, fear. 
Satan, the spirit of fear, is going to be pushed heavenly where people won't know how to feed their babies, how to feed their children. Okay? And the people are going to cave in. And you want to know why they're going to cave in? Because they have no faith. Okay? They don't have the faith as a mustard seed, you know? Let me see if I could find some small, something to describe. Um, I mean, this is a rock, but... Yeah, this is a rock. I mean, this is so small. <laughs> this is not a seed, but people don't have this amount of faith. You guys can't even see it. <laughs> but anyways, y'all know what I'm trying to say. People have no faith, man. And, um, man, this is really... Like, I'm trying to, like, ignore it. I'm trying to ignore it, guys. But my screen just went completely dark. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, but... Anyways... So I saw that and I was just like, wow. I believe that it's gonna, it's gonna happen in our lifetime, man. A hundred percent. And it's gonna happen, you know, guys, this stuff is gonna come out faster than you think. And um, people are gonna cave in. You're gonna get demonized for not taking it. I'm telling you guys, the minute you wanna walk this narrow path, pre prepare to be demonized, prepare to get attacked by worldly people, religious people, okay? Just, be, just, just prepare. Remember, who, 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 who was the enemies of Christ? Okay, now we know, the, you know, everyone hated Christ, right? Just as the Bible says, okay? Um, but it wasn't just the people you think who hated him because the people who also hated him were people, were church people, religious people. They also hated him too. They turned him into the, to the Romans, okay? And um, like I said, guys, prepare and take heed, okay? Uh, prepare for your family to turn you in. Prepare for your loved ones, your children. Prepare to leave everything, okay? Just as the Bible says, if you love your father, mother, children, uh, so-and-so more than me, you're not worthy of me. A lot of people, they're not going to be willing to give up their, their mom and dad. They're not going to be get, willing to give up, you know, their brother, their sister, you know, their job. You know, many people got this because they didn't want to lose their job that doesn't give an F about them. Let's just keep it real. These jobs don't care about you, bro. They'll just replace you like this. But you're, you know, a lot of people were willing to, you know, compromise their morals, their character, their faith, just to, to work at a job they don't even like. Okay, so when 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 I tell you guys that the market of the beast is coming, it's coming faster than you expect. And um, like I said, guys, there's going to be a lot of fear. A lot of fear is going to be pushed on the sheep. They love they they eat. They love fear. Sheep, a lot of the sheep, they love the goats. They love fear. They love to be entertained, you know. But when it actually happens, when it's actually here. You know, people just, you know, cave into it, man. So, um, the last days are here. Um, prepare, prepare your spirit, prepare your soul. We have Halloween coming up. I think today, I, guys, I didn't even know Halloween. I, I don't, I don't follow the pagan days. I don't, I, you know, the only reason why I, I even knew Halloween weekend because I just drove by and saw pumpkins. <laughs> That's the only reason why I know. But, uh, for those who go out, um, for those who, you know, people invited them to stay in, stay in, who knows what's going to happen uh, around October. For those who don't know, it's harvest season. Um, usually that's when Satan, um, sacrifices, you know, a celebrity, a rapper, usually a rapper. Uh, did anyone get sacrifices? I don't follow that stuff. I don't know. I, all I know there's a World war three. All I know is that after they gave us an alert, you know, the alerts on the phone that I told you guys on October 4th. Dear, dear, dear. Alert, alert. This is your <laughs> Y'all know, y'all got it. I turned off my phone and I still got it. So apparently you had to take off the battery off your phone. And for those who have an iPhone, taking off the battery on the iPhone is takes a lot of time. Okay, unless you had like the tools already and stuff like that, you know. But uh for an Android, I don't know I don't know about how it is on the Android. But anyways, we got the alerts on our phone on October 4th, and then we hear about the war that's happening in Israel, they get attacked and and whatnot. So once we get it, because that's going to happen in the future, guys. That's not just a one-time thing. They're going to be giving out more alerts. So the next alert they give us, okay, expect something crazy to happen a couple days, a couple weeks later. Just expect it. I mean, I got to tell you guys, the fear is going to be so crazy, you know, but I have the Holy Spirit. So there's no fear that could overtake me. Like, I laughed. When I, when I saw those alert, when, I, when it woke me up, I just laughed. Ha ha. Now, I'm not laughing about people, you know, people getting deleted out there. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want to see children die and stuff like that. But the truth be told, guys, what's happening over there, that's none of my business. Okay, we all know that the true Israelites are not in that land. 
the people who are in that land, it talks about in Revelation chapter 2, verse 9 to 3, and chapter 3, verse 3 to 9. Give up the land, give it back to the people who it belongs to, okay? And then maybe you'll find peace over there. But until then, judgment. It's judgment, guys. I already told you guys. God's judging the earth. Not just, not just in America. He's judging all the earth, okay? And it's not just, you know, I'm pretty sure there's some countries, you know, who, who fear God. You know, probably like the smaller countries or something, or the smaller cities. But here in America, it's gonna get it's gonna get worse, and I hate and I hate to say that's good. I wish I could give you guys like some a positive message, and sometimes I do, right? But that's not the times we're in. That's not the season we're in. We're in the season of war. Okay, it talks about this in the Bible: a time a time of love and a time of peace, a time of hate and a time of love. Okay, a time of peace and a time of war. Okay, so you have to know the season that you're in. Know the season that you're in and act accordingly. Okay, so. Like I told you guys, my daughter's, but for those who just now joined in the beginning of this video, it's my daughter's birthday. So I gotta go get ready for that. So I can't make this long. Um, expect more live streams too. Um, I didn't bring my camera, so I'm using my phone. But um, yeah, guys, I can't look at the chat. I can't look at the chat. It's like the, the message is like blurry. I see people becoming members. I see people leaving super chats, but I can't read any of it. So unfortunately, thank you those. Thank you for supporting. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hitting the like button. I'll see you guys soon, maybe on Monday. Peace, God bless, shalom. Have a great Sabbath day.